um, show that this can be written like this for the first three terms. Um, this is our binomial expansions question, but they've written it in a funny way. Um, I'm going to change this to 1 minus x to the power of a half times by 1 minus uh, 1 plus x to the negative a half. And I'm going to do the expansions for these two things and then multiply them together. So, first one, 1 minus x to the power of positive a half. The rule is 1 plus n times x, where n is the power and this is our x term. So we're going to have 1 plus a half times x, but that's minus x, plus a half, so n times n minus 1, so that's going to be negative a half, times minus x squared, divided by 2 factorial, which is just 2. I only need to go up to the x squared term because this only went up to the x squared term. So if I simplify that, that's 1 take away a half x, um, minus from here because this minus is being squared so minus 1 over 8x squared the 1 plus x to the negative a half is going to be 1 again plus negative a half x plus negative a half times negative 3 over 2 x squared over 2 so that's going to be 1 minus a half x. This is going to be plus this time 3 8 x squared. So the next job is to then multiply these two results together. So we've got 1 minus a half x and minus an 8 x squared times by 1 minus a half x plus. 3 8 x squared. Now, some of these, if we were to multiply all of this out, some, some terms we wouldn't need because some terms would be higher than an x squared term. We'd get a couple of x cubed and an x to the 4 term. I'm going to ignore that. I'm only going to expand up to the x squared. So I'm going to multiply the 1 by these three things. So 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times minus a half x is minus half x, and the 1 times the 3 eighths x squared there. Then I'm going to do this middle term, but that is only going to need to be times by these first two terms, because if I times it by the 3 eighths x squared, I'd get an x cubed term. don't need to make extra work for myself, so I'm not going to bother. So then I'm going to get a um, minus a half x times my 1, is minus a half x. I notice I'm lining it up with my other x term here, and the minus a half times minus a half here is going to be plus a quarter x squared. That's all I need to do for that term. And then finally, um, we're going to have this an eighth x squared term just times by the one here. So that's going to go underneath here because the others, when it gets times by the, this term, will be higher powers again. So that will give us, in total, 1 minus a whole x, and then we've got 3 8 plus 2 8 take away an 8. So that's 4 8, that's positive 4 8, which is a half. So we've got 1 minus x plus a half x squared 